Welcome. If you're that person that loves to crack their neck and you say, wow, crack, crack, that feels awesome. Look back. Look how many times you had to crack your neck. Look how often your body is telling you, wow, it's that time again. I better go ahead and do it again. And you need to be careful because you could be causing a lot of damage in your spine and in your body as well. Understand that the spine, the brain and spinal cord, is your central nervous system. The brain being inside the casing of the bones of the skull, the spine being in the casing of the vertebrae called the vertebral column. But you notice these yellow, these yellow things coming out are called spinal nerves, 31 pairs. And these nerves is what's controlling your body. They go to the muscles and the arms and the hands and the neck from the mid back, they come around the ribs and the lower back, they come off the lower back, go down the leg called the sciatic nerve. But these nerves also control the organs up in here into the face, the glands, the thyroid, you come down into the lungs, the heart, the stomach, come down into the kidneys, the sexual male, female reproductive organs. They supply everything going on in your body. If you're cracking bones and you're moving bones and you're shifting bones and you're doing the wrong thing to what your spine really needs, you could be affecting these nerves and causing potential problems in the future. So I urge you not to crack your neck. If you crack a knuckle like this and you say, wow, that felt good. Your knuckles aren't going to get bigger. Those are just gases being released from the joints of your knuckles. Like the gases are being released from your neck as well. I don't recommend anyone out there to crack their neck. Even being a specialist as I am about the spine, I am not the one to crack my own neck either. So please, I ask you to be careful. I've seen many problems over the past. And what happens is when these muscles are tugging because they're shortening or they're spasming because the nerve supply is already being irritated. So the muscle shortens and it gives you the urge of wanting to do more to stimulate that area to feel better. But obviously those muscles keep contracting because the compression or irritation on that nerve is obviously still compressed. Now, by doing this, you can be causing damage to the disc as well. Is it worth it? The ap absolutely not. So please be careful. Leave your messages below. Please subscribe if you haven't. Pass this video on to others who can become more educated. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.